Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl Danielle. So today my video is going to be about my perfume. I'm going to talk about some of my perfume. This is not all of them, but I did get enough out so I can talk about some of them. And also, if you're into perfume, makeup, and some vlogging, please like, comment, and subscribe. And also to my new followers, welcome. I'm going to get right into the video. So my first fragrance I want to talk about is the MFK. Baccarat Rouge 540, and I'm pretty sure everybody knows about this fragrance. This is a very, you know, a very popular fragrance in the fragrance community. And I do actually love this fragrance. And I did get it from Saks, I believe it was like 335 plus tag. So yeah, it's a very pretty pricey fragrance. Also, I do have straight version. The this is more sweeter, more deeper. I would say more, a little bit more intense. I, not intense as in overpowering, but it's much sweeter. And out of the both fragrances, I will be going to repurchase the bigger bottle of this. And yeah, this is like my favorite. And also I'm about the oil, the, oops, oops, I'm behind. So the one I talked about was the body oil. So, let me go back. See, the body oil and the perfume looks very similar. I'm just going to look at the bottom. It says set to body oil. So, um, I got this from, I think it was Neiman Marcus. And it was $100. So, it's not that bad. And I don't suggest wearing this alone because it does not last. So, I would layer it with, you know, the body lotion or something close with the notes of the mfk and it smells exactly the same but if you can't afford the bottle yet i will grab this or i'll grab like a dupe to it but you know that's all you need food satin mood and this is like more of a darker fragrance and i like this fragrance it can be a little bit overpowering overpowering so um I will try to use this, you know, in the fall and winter months because it's very strong. Um, it can give you a headache, so I wouldn't spray too much of this because it's very strong. The next one I'm going to grab is Gentle Fluidy Gold. And um, this fragrance smells very good. It's just the longevity on this is not very... Um, long and honestly this is the fragrance that i wish i could have waited on because it's not even much worth the price so i just got it because i know that you know i did reviews upon it well i watched reviews upon it so it was pretty good so this is gentle fluidy gold i'm not sure how much this one was but i did get it at nimi marcus so i'm gonna be grabbing is this is a baby fat perfume golden goddess and I had ordered this off of Macari. I do currently own this fragrance in a, the 3.4 ounce and it's like halfway gone and they don't make this fragrance no more. And also that you do find that people are selling it for an arm and a leg. So I believe this is like a one point, this is a one, one ounce, a very beautiful bottle. And I think I had bought this in a set. It was like this in a lotion. So I think I paid like a hundred dollars off Macari. So that's not bad because some people are selling um, the one ounce is 1.7 ounce for like $200. All right, my other fragrance is Valentino. Valentino, let me see, I think it's Donna. Valentino, which one is this? I'm not sure. I believe it is Valentino. Oh, no, I forgot which one this is. So I got this from Nordstrom. I think it's like a hundred and something. It smells pretty good. You know, it's kind of annoying. I had this fragrance for about four years and I really wasn't supposed to buy this fragrance because I feel like the lady was talking my head up so I just went ahead and got it and I had water around the store and that stuff was like killing me. So this is, I believe this is Valentine. No, it's not Donna. I don't know which one this is. Valentine, I don't know. Excuse the bottle, this is an old bottle. And this is no Ortiz. I kept this because of the bottle. Who don't like the little cute little squishy thing here? And as you see, the fragrance in here is old. But I just kept it for the bottle. 
and I forgot how this smell and had this for forever. This is Ellis Brooklyn Myth. And I got this from Sephora. And I believe this was like, uh, I think it was a hundred and something. You know, this smells very good. I love musty scents. And that is Ellis Brooklyn Myth. The fragrance is Killian love don't be shy the extreme and i'm pretty sure everybody heard about this too this is so-called rihanna's signature scent or the scent that she wears and i guess when everybody found out that she wears this they had one and bought it up it's a very sweet marsh marshmallowy uh, fragrance i don't wear it as much because it's you know i spent some money for it and i think got a little dick going on there but this is very beautiful my next fragrance is Lit Entered It by Gavinci. I'm not sure if I pronounced this correctly. And this fragrance, I don't know. I gotta try to, you know, give this fragrance a little bit more a few tries because this kind of reminds me of, it smells good when you first spray it and after it, whatever that smell is come after it. It gives me cigarette butt vibes a little bit. So yeah, and I got this from Macy's and I believe it was like a hundred and something. My next fragrance is Jador. I'm not sure which one this one is. Let's see if it has it at the bottom. I'm not sure, but this is Jador. I got this from Macy's. Like, ooh, I didn't have this for some years. Um, yeah, so got me a little dick going on here. My next one is, this is my favorite one. As you see, it has like a big old den up in it. Like I was wearing this every single day. And I did get this from Macy's. Now it was like 132 or something like that. So yeah, I like this hop. My next one that I got is Bulgari. Rose Godea, and look at this bottle, it's so pretty. And this is like a rose type of fragrance and it's good for bedtime in my opinion. Um, I got this from Nordstrom, and I believe it was like 132 or something like that, and I just had to get it. Look at the bottle, like who don't want no cute bottles in their collection? I think I was watching a YouTuber and she discussed this perfume a lot. And I'm like, you know what? If it keep popping up, it's meant for you to go buy it. You gotta go buy it. So my next fragrance is Skylar Vanilla Sky. And this is the um, EDT. And I got this fragrance from, well, I ordered from Sephora. So I know I had got like a sample in the mail and you know, I smelled it, I'm like, ooh, I have to get the bottle of this. And I actually have two bottles of this because I know they were having, I think Skylar, the web, they were having a sale where, you know, you buy one and get the other one for free. And the other one that I did want, they were out of stock. So I'm like, hey, might as well grab two. So this is a vanilla sky. This is a very beautiful vanilla fragrance and it's not overpowered. It's like a pretty sexy vanilla. So yeah, vanilla sky. My next one is My Glow by Jennifer Lopez. I got this fragrance off of Makari, and this is a very beautiful, musky fragrance. I get a lot of compliments on this fragrance, and um, I'm not sure how much I pay for this, but it wasn't much. You know, I try to go, you know, I try to find the good deal. Some stuff you may have to buy off of websites because, you know, they probably don't make it no more or, you know, it's just hard to find. That is My Glow by Jennifer Lopez. The beautiful one. Look at that top. My next fragrance is the Vera Wang Princess. And look at the top. A little crown. I got this from a place called Fragrant um, Perfume Media. Inside the Premier Outlet Mall out in Vegas. And I don't wear I think I wore this like once or twice. I'm not sure what it smells like. Um, I can't remember what it smells like, but... This is Vera Wang Princess. It's a heart-shaped bottle. 
My next fragrance is Versace Crystal Noir and baby, this is my favorite. I think I had got this off of, I think I bought this off of Finger Hugs. I know, you know, they have perfume on there too. And you know, if you buy a perfume, you can like help build your credit up. But baby, I had to go get a big bottle of this. Um, this, you, I will say I could, you will wear this like in the cooler months and yeah you have to get this it smells so good I have next fragrance is Atelier Lune Feline Des Ors I'm not sure if I pronounced it correctly and I was watching a YouTuber and she spoke about this fragrance and the only reason why I got this fragrance is because they have gold flakes at the bottom so I'm gonna shake it oops shit heavy ass top all right look at those gold flakes this is why this is why I got this fragrance look at don't want no gold flakes and this definitely a winter scent very woody smelling fragrance and be careful because look you didn't hear that top big old heavy top the top is pretty loose we have britney spears midnight fantasy when you smell it from the bottle it smells pretty good but once you place it on your skin it starts to smell kind of cheap smelling um I got this off of, I believe it was Macari. Somebody, were, a YouTuber was talking about this fragrance and I had to go get it. The bottle is cute. It smells good. It's like it, To me, it smells like shampoo, a good shampoo. But when I put it on my skin, it starts smelling like cheap smelling. So, Tom Ford Lost Cherry. And I got this from, I believe I had one into Saks Fifth and got this. And it smells very good. It's just like what it says lost chair it's a lost chair this thing disappears above you honestly i wouldn't want to waste my money on this you do better going to get a dupe um i don't really wear it as much because you know i kind of paid some money for it and you know i don't want to be wearing it wear and, and layer it with it, something that's close to this but it's a very beautiful smelling um fragrance it kind of reminds me of a cherry pie and i have got a small bottle this time for our fragrances ain't cheap. Ariana Grande Cloud. Everybody knows about this fragrance. It's been compared to the infamous MFK. And I got this fragrance from, I believe it was, I believe it was Ross. And it was like for $20. You can't beat that. And it smells pretty good. I haven't wear it. I haven't wore it. I'm sticking to the Burberry, but you know, I have so many fragrances, like it's hard to choose what you're talking about. It's French coffee, and this was a blind buy. I know I be on Instagram and I know I be watching perfume reels, and I have saw this one. And the way the lady described it, I'm like, ooh, I have to go try this. And this was a this was a blind buy I don't regret. It smells so good, like a coffee shop, like you know, nothing but sweetness, cocoa sugar all the above just when you think of this think of a coffee shop it smells so good like edible 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 a black opium by ysl and i went and bought another bottle because the one i had it was pretty much gone and expired and i got this from sephora i believe it was like 132 i haven't used it yet but i will be using it towards like the you know the cooler months and you know, this is why it's there. My next fragrance I'm gonna be discussing, talking about is Prada La Femme. Oh my God, it smells so good. I got this from Nordstrom. I don't remember how much it was, but I watched Demi Rowling here on YouTube and you know, she, and it was a blind buy and I don't regret this. And you know, I have a mini dip going on here. It's Whipped Almond EDP. And you can get this from Target. And it was like 20 bucks. It smells so good. Whipped almond, smell it sweet, vanilla, almond, almondy, almondy, if I say it correctly, fragrance. You can't beat that 20 bucks. Next Dior EDP. Um, actually, I was in the mall one day and the lady, you know, you know, they be trying to sell you stuff and she sprayed it on the card and I'm like, oh, it smells so good. And I asked her, can I spray it on my skin? Because some fragrances you can't spell on the card, you have to put it on your skin to see how your body, you know, reacts to it. 
And as you know, I got home, I started smelling. I'm like, oh, I gotta go back and get the bottle of this. So I went back and got this. I'm not sure. I think this was like 132 or something like that. And I like it because of the bow. Little bow. <laughs> Joe Malone, Mir and Tonka, Cologne Intense. Love, love, love. I got this from Joe Malone store and it was, let me see, I can't remember. I think it was like a hundred and something. And I know Peyton here on YouTube, she like rant and raved about this perfume cologne and I had to go get it. Now this, you have to spray on your skin. Cause I know when I first smelled it from the bottle, it wasn't given to me, but don't discriminate. You have to put it on your skin because that card, that's just something you can just spray it on so you can get an idea what it smells like, but you need to spray it up on your um, skin. And you know what's crazy? I had bought some Joe Malone furnaces before. I had bought like a trio because the guy said these were all good to layer together. So I went and found the box. Joe Malone, Mary and Tonka. So I've been had this. I just didn't realize I had it. All right. So I do have this Too Faced Better Than Sex perfume and honestly i got this perfume because of the bottle like come on look at the bottle it's cute but the smell i don't know that smell it's just not given to me so i just got it for the bottle i believe it's like a hundred and something at macy's i believe ulta do carry this but i just got it because of the bottle like look at the bottle and i think i got a free um mascara in the box so yeah this is better better than sex too faced all right, so this is Delena Exclusive, and I had ordered this off of the Saks Fifth website. It was on sale, so I believe this one retail for $357, I believe, and I think it was on sale for $303, so I had to get it. You can't beat it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This one and the original is very hard to choose between because they smell, they smell similar, but they're different. So I know next I will be going back and get the original because I have the Love Rose Z and they all smell phenomenal. Like it's just so hard to choose. So if you know it's hard to choose, the best way to solve that, get both. You won't be disappointed with both. We have the Oriana by Zelina. This is more of a bubba gum type of scent. Some people said this smell close to killing and love don't be shy. Um, I don't really think so. I can see why, but when it dries it on my skin, it smells totally different. And this one was on sale too. I believe this one was like $284. I believe the retail was like $335 for this, but it was $284 when it was on sale. So I had to get it. Who don't want a deal? Me. All right, so we have the Carolina. Excuse my heel. I think something came off here. I don't understand like why I have a missing piece over here looking special and stuff. I don't I don't like my bottles to look damaged. But I got this off of I believe it was Sephora or Macy's. I think I had to order it had to get shipped to the store and I believe it's like 132. Very beautiful. I feel like all her fragrances smell similar to each other. Sorry. Yeah, they smell similar. I believe they just have that same Carolina Herrera DNA. I got this off of Amazon. I believe it was like 140 or something like that. And I got this from, I believe Macy's years ago. So like, I love, 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 love these bottles. Um, I'm gonna be working on getting the velvet one and the Ligiri is the one with like the clear looking heel. And also, I got the smaller ones. I got these off of Macari. Well, actually this one, I had, um, actually I had ordered this one and the lady ended up sending me this one so I went ahead and kept it. So I went back and bought this one. So this is what I really want. I'm like, why would you send me a menu? Um, uh, something I didn't ask for. That's why I said on Macari, you have to be careful because sometimes people end up sending you something different than what you have ordered. So yeah, these are the Carolina Herrera. The shoes, like the bottles are so cute. So I'm gonna remove these out the way. So Next fragrance want... is Dolce Cabana Pineapple. Um, I never really heard about this fragrance until I watched a YouTuber and um, I decided I want to go ahead and get it. I guess it was discontinued. So I had to go look online for this fragrance and 
I think I paid $338 for it. I'm not sure how much it really retail for, but like I was telling you guys, you know, when something's been discontinued, people out there are jacking up the prices on the perfumes, you know, since they're hard to find. But this is a very like citrus type of scent and it's cute. Look at the top, a little pineapple. I have not worn this yet, but um, for sure summertime. I believe this is unisex. Ariana Grande, thank you, next. And if you know, you know people say this smells like pickles. Honestly, when I did first smell this, it did get me pickle wise. But when it do, when you do spread on your skin, it does dry down to something that's to a beautiful scent. And also, I did get this from Ulta, and I forgot how much I paid for it. Maybe like 65 or something like that. Very beautiful, don't regret it. I have Baby Fat Golden Goddess, and I got this for a hundred and something off of ebay like i was telling you guys you know these they don't make them like that no more um i feel like the pink one the go um the the regular one they sell that one a little bit more but this one smells just as good and this is giving me vibes of the mfk gentle fluidy gold so yeah this is pretty vibe look at the little cute vibes of trisati levy de milano and this was the blind buy. I had, um, you know, watching video. I need to stay off some videos because some videos would have you broke. And this is a blind buy and I do not regret this. And I got this off a of Joma shop and I believe this fragrance, fragrance was like a hundred and something. It came pretty fast. But yeah, this is a blind buy I don't regret and I like it. Look at the top. La Petite Robe Noir and this one is one is the intense and one is the um regular version and these this first one is pretty strong and honestly what caught my attention with this friends was the dress in the front and I believe I be on TikTok and I saw this in the girl collection like I gotta get it and so I got this off the Guerlain website and I believe this was like $88 I'm glad I did get the small box I'm thinking out I really wanted to get the big bottle, but sometimes small small bottles will do it if you're not really sure of a fragrance. So, and then also I got the other one. This is the toilet version. It's the lighter version. So yeah, this is Guerlain. This is, I think this is my robe cocktail one. Yeah, Dux of Goddess. And um, this is a blind buy. I just got it because it was baby fat and you know, I love baby fat perfumes. And honestly, this, I'm not sure I'm going to be touching this. This is very strong. Very strong. Heavy on the leather. Very strong. So this is definitely a winter scent. I'm going to try to work on, you know, discriminating against some of my fragrance, especially if they're strong, you know. Like this, I'm telling you, it's not doing it. I like it's a little black bottle, but you know, it's don't hurt to go in a collection. Uh, Juliet has a gum, a gun, not a perfume. I ordered this off of Alt Sephora. Got the same day, um, same day shipping, so they bring it to the house. And they say it's not a perfume, but it do have some type of it does have a smell to it, not not a strong smell. But when you spread it on your skin, I guess it works with your DNA, whatever. But it kind of gives off like a musky type of scent. You know, I guess it's for people who are very sensitive to like perfume. So this would be good for people like that. But this, it gives like a musky smell and a musky smell. This is a perfume I don't regret buying. You know, it's like a, it leaves off a, a light, you know, a light smell. So, you know, and it do leave a good sillage upon you too. One, this is a love, love, love. I got this from... Nordstrom at the Joe Malone counter and boy I love this fragrance I love it I love it I love it and as you see I have a big major denim in it and I did go back and get another 13 love 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 I really really use this that much but um it was so hard for me to choose from these two fragrances and if I could choose I'll go with the Liz for one first and I had another 13 they smell so good. It's like a woody type of scent. Um, yes, a woody type of scent. 
this unisex so i may not want to could wear it i have not worn this yet to see how it does on my body i think i have samples but yeah this smells good very good you will get hella compliments off this especially it's another 13. i don't think too many people like liz 41 but you know i love it all right so i have a trish envoy oh not envoy mechavoy and I know this was like on my wish list to get, and I know one day I went down to Nordstrom to go pick up my, um, it was my curbside order. And so, you know, I'm just looking and looking and I seen, I seen her like little section. So I'm like, oh, I took my patel over there and I found, I saw this perfume and I wanted to smell it. So when I smelled it, I'm like, mm, it smells pretty good. And, but I'm like, okay, I'm like, let me smell it on my skin because, you know, you can't trust nothing off us, you know, a card and, and as she sprayed it on my skin, I'm like, I started to like it a little bit, but I'm like, I wasn't too sure of it. And I'm like, Ugh. I'm like, should I just leave it? And I'm like, no, I'll just come back. And I'm like going back and forth about this fragrance, but you know, I don't regret it. And I'm glad I did get it because that was like the only one left. She, but the other one she had, the other perfumes that she has, they were like full of stuff, but this one was the last one. So I'm like, you know what? I might as well go ahead and get it. This is a very beautiful fragrance. I like the bottom and it's pink. So this is Trish McAvoy. I got Casablanca Swiss Arabian. Um, I got this off of Macari. So I know that um, this popped up on my For You page on TikTok and a girl was reviewing it saying, you know, this is a good fragrance. This is more like a Middle Eastern fragrance. Um, let me see. It's a blind buy. I have not worn it yet, but smelling from the bottle, I think I will wait till the cooler months because smelling from the bottle is it's kind of overwhelming. But yeah, this was a blind buy. So, you know, I gotta stay off those websites because I'm telling you, once you get into this perfume addiction like me, I have a bad where I see something and, you know, I look good and I think I want it, I want to try. I'm like, I want it now type of girl. It's um, the least in the creek by Johan B. I got this off of Rebel Sense. I love Rebel Sense. They have reasonable cheap prices there and their phrases are authentic and they do make their own phrases. And you know, I was watching some videos and I went ahead and got this. I had wanted it so bad, they were out of stock. So I had to go find a place where I had to look online to see who was selling this. So I think I got this off of eBay. And I think I spent $100 for it. And I think upon Rebel Sense, it was less than 100 But me, you know, I just couldn't wait. We have K. Ali Must 12. And I got this because I had a set of four of her fragrances at the time. And, you know, I like them all, but the Must 12 was just given to me. And I said, if I was to go back and get a big bottle, it will be this one. I love, 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 love this fragrance. Like, definitely a summer fragrance. You can spray this in your hair. Like, even though that it has bad longevity, like this one was worth me buying. You know, even though it don't have, you know, the great performance. Now, I feel like you got to kind of spray, over spray it a little bit, but it'll do. Narciso, Narciso, Cisco Rodriguez for her. This. I got this from the Perfume Mania. I'm not sure how much. I think I spent like almost 100 for this. And this is a very, um, it's kind of strong to me. I want to try the pink bottle. So I got this from Perfume Mania. This is Narcissa for her. A cute little black bottle. It's Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia. I'm glad I got a small bottle. This is like a very floral type of fragrance. Like how this bottle looks is how it smells. I got this from Sephora and I believe this was like maybe 80 bucks or so. Definitely, I will say a summer scent. Very floral. It kind of, I don't know, a mix of everything. Floral, flowers, whatever. We have Chanel Eau Chan Tendre. This is my favorite fragrance. You see that I many dent in here. And like I said, I like to use my fragrances, but once I start putting dents in them, I say, you know what? I need to go ahead and find something else to put on. But this, I got this at the Chanel counter inside the mall, like Macy's. And I believe this was like 135. Let me see. It's 135, this is 3.4 fluid ounce. It smells good. You gotta get this, girls. I feel like the chest collection is good, but I feel like this to me comes in at number one to me. 
My next one is Moogler. And I forgot which one. This is Womanity. And honestly, I got this because of the bottle. This is a very cinnamon type, this is a cinnamon type of fragrance. It's kind of strong, you know? But honestly, I got it for the bottle. I got this off of the Moogler website. And I believe this is like 140 something. Maybe something like that. I can't, you know, recall, but I got it because of the bottle. Like. Okay, so this one is Les Notes Gourmandes. This is a gourmand scent. This kind of remind me of licorice liquors and um i got this off of macari and i think the seller wanted like 60 dollars for this something like that i can't too much recall but it's a gourmand scent and the longevity on this is very important i have molecule one essential molecules and this smells good from the bottle this pretty much picks up you know your it goes off your, you know, your, I wouldn't say DNA. It goes off your body aura and it develops a smell. But when I wore this, this was, it was getting on my nerves. I had to put it down. It was getting on my nerves. And I believe I got this off of Fragrance Net. I got it somewhere. Fragrance Net, one of them websites. And this was like a suggestion by Demi Roll. My next fragrance is Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid by Victor and Wolf. I believe I got this off of Sephora. This is 132. Yeah, that's off of Sephora. And it's a very sweet fragrance. I haven't worn it yet, but some stuff I just gotta have in my collection. Next one is Woman by Ralph Lauren. Like, this is a love, love, love. I believe I got this from Sephora. Not Sephora, Ulta. And. It was like a hundred and something and this smells so good like i have to go get me another bottle of this because if i wear this it's gonna be down here like i'm like i said once i start putting this in the fragrance that tells me i need to slow down upon it because i'm using too much of it i love this fragrance ralph lauren this fragrance you can wear this throughout the year office you know fragrance a teacher you know interview this is a, you know, a, um, what is the word? I can't think of the word, but you can wear this anywhere. Anywhere. This by Zerjoff, Herba Pura. And this was a blind buy. And look at the bottle. I just like the, the feel to it. And this is very strong to me. Um, for a second, I'm like, oh God. And it's the blind buy as well. And I had to put it on my skin to see how, you know, it was gonna play out. And it worked out pretty good. Like it's still strong, but you can smell the fragrance trying to come through. Like I do have the Christian Louis Vuitton perfume, the Luby Crown, and that they're like in the same category of being strong. So yeah, this is the Christian Christian Louboutin, Ruby Crown. They like in the same family of being strong. I have not worn this one yet because this is like, you know, I feel like I gotta mess with this in the winter time to see what I'm gonna do with that fragrance. This, um, I'd like to be worn in both, but I like how this one, you know, plays it on my skin. And I got this off the, I think I got this off of either Neiman Marcus. It was some website I got this off of. And it was like one or I think it's like two something. I can't remember, but I don't regret it. I just want to give it more time. This one I'm starting to kind of regret a little bit because I was looking at reviews and based on the reviews, I feel like this was swinging towards my way a little bit, but this is very strong. The Odge, this is the Disney edition. And honestly, I got this because of the bottle. Look at the top. Like who don't want no cute little cupcake perfume in their collection? Who don't? It smells pretty good, but you know, I'm a sucker for packaging, you know, bottles. I had to get it. Then the other one um, I got, this is my first one I got. 
And I did, this is the only one they had left. They had like a sale. So, you know, House of Siage, their perfumes are pretty pricey, but trust me, they do have sales. And also, they got this new one coming out this Friday. And oh my God, like, uh, it sucks because they want to release the time when bills are due and stuff. But baby, I will be going back to get that one as soon as I get my funds together because like, you guys should go check it out. It's House of Siage. And I believe, I forgot what that one's called, but it has the gummy bears on top. So, you know, that's a new release. So it's probably going to be at the full price, $3.95 or maybe up. House of Oud, and this is Day's Delight. This is like a gourmand scent. And honestly, I like it because of the bottle. I do have What About Pop. This is like a caramel popcorn smelling scent. Like who don't want no egg perfume in their collection? And I believe these both retail at $2.50 each. And you can get it off the What About Pop website. And I will be going back to get some colorful ones because who don't like a cute bottle? Killian. This is Angel Share by Killian and it gives me vodka vibes. You know, like not vodka, but you know, alcohol is like a, a shot glass with some brown alcohol up in it. It smells so good. This is definitely, I would say, like a holiday type of scent, you know, like a cinnamon, you know, like ginger type, not ginger, but cinnamon. And um, I got this from Sephora and I believe it was like two something. I want to go back and get the other one, but look at this cute bottle. Like, cute bottle. The top is kind of like plasticky, cheapy. Yeah, look at this. I've worn this a couple times. We have the infamous Fenty Beauty Perfume. And I got this off the website. And this sold out very fast. It sold out twice. And this was a blind buy. And I got it because, you know, Rihanna got her name all over it. But guess what, honey? I wish I would have saved my money because this stuff smells really bad. This does not smell good at all. Save your money. Save your money. I don't know what she was thinking with this fragrance. Like, I'm pretty sure she don't smell, she don't wear nothing that smells like this. Um, Kill Your Love Don't Be Shy smells way better than this. Like, this is a horrible fragrance. I have even, I sprayed it once and I'm like, that's, it was it for me. And like I tell people, save your money. Save your money. You won't be disappointed. So if you guys like the fragrance videos, can you please like, comment, and subscribe? I will be having more content from you guys. I will be doing a man's version very soon. I'm just trying to find the time to do this because, you know, I do work. I'm a full-time mother. So, you know, this stuff takes time. Then you have to edit. And, you know, I'm still learning and working on it. I apologize if I twist over my words. But like, comment, and subscribe. And, you know, in the comment below, let me know some fragrance you think I should try or what's new out. I like to try different things. I'm open to anything. All right, guys. See you on the next video.